Okay, so I'm gonna be opening the old school essentials box sets that I got for Christmas. You guys, Abigail's working the camera. Got Sunny here with me. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this is the classic set. This is the advanced expansion. So basically, the difference is this is like the original BX game right here, and this is additional stuff from advanced D&D that's added on to it to make it advanced fantasy. Um, this cover was actually painted by Errol Lotus. Do you know who he was? Mm -mm. Um, classic classic D&D. Yeah, he, exactly. He was a very early classic D&D artist, painter, uh, and illustrator. And he... Um, he actually did the cover for the original Basic Expert set. So, he, him doing like a new cover is kind of, you know, a homage to him, you know, and the whole BX thing, right? So, uh, which cover do you like better? I like, uh... I like this one. I like this one. Do you yeah? A bit more yeah. elements to it. Yeah, okay. there's more color. Yeah, this one's by Peter Mullen. It's a... Uh, it's a lich, and he looks like he's bringing some uh, skeletons to life or something like that. He's doing yeah. some undead stuff. All right, well, let's get started. I'm going to open this up. Wait, so uh, I thought you said Peter Cullen. P Peter Mullen. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and... I'm Optimus Prime. Oh, is that the guy that did Optimus Prime? Yes, yeah. Peter Cullen. Oh, yeah. yeah. He also did the Predator voice. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did the noises for the Predator. Oh, that's a pretty talented dude. Yeah. Um, all right, so let me, uh, open this up. One thing that you notice, like, give this a heft, Sonny. These are heavy boxes, like, I don't know if you've ever seen the, uh, the original box sets, but they were, like, you know, kind of flimsy cardboard. It was just, like, a, basically, like, a notebook in there and yeah. some dice. It was really, but this is, like, these are heavy and thick boxes. Um. Now, I thought that I was getting the white lettering instead of the gold foil. I would have preferred the white. I don't really like the look of the gold, but it's what they sent me when I bought it. Um, they must have had a lot of stock from the, uh, uh, you know, the Kickstarter. So what's this? That this uh, is like catalog. a, yeah, it's a little catalog. Pretty fun, huh, that they send that? Mm -hmm. So, I have basically everything OSC in here, but, um, <laughs> and I kind of made my own version of that referee's screen, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and then they have, I don't have any of the, like, uh, adventures that they put out, I'm not really too interested in those, but, um. Yeah, anyway, so this would be characters. So you see how this box sets work is it's all a bunch of little books, right guys? Yeah. So the little books include characters, magic, adventures, monsters, and treasures. So if I were to move that out of the way. So characters, this is going to be your basic, like, what is it, seven? different classes or so. Yeah. Um, cleric, dwarf, elf, fighter, halfling, magic user, thief. That's like, that's eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, okay. Anyway, um, so this is all the classic game stuff. If you wanted to play something outside of that core game, then you would have to, yeah. And this is all the classic magic. So it's all here. And these are nice little books. They're, what do you think about them as far as quality? They're neat. Yeah, they're really good. Very nice. And the one nice thing about it is like, if let's say your character is like a magic user or a cleric or something, and it's like, you, you know, you just need to see the spell list. I don't have to hand you my whole Book. book, right? I can yeah. just I can just send you like hand over the magic section, and you can look at that. 
And the artwork on the covers are really pretty. Mm hmm Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. You can get t-shirts with these images on, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So this is like, how do you run an adventure, that sort of thing. So, um, time and weight movement. So that's pretty cool. I mean, here's your monster manual. It's the thicker of the books, it looks like. Had like a griffin thing on the cover. Yeah. Does it have arrows in it? Yeah, it looks like it. Mm. Hmm. Whoa. I'm not a very good cameraman. Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> that's just your one. <laughs> yeah, well, girls shoot. can't do that job. Really. <laughs> Doesn't even have their name in it. Yeah. Just like comedians. That's still not that, funny. Look at that owl bear. I like that. Take, get a little so bit of that. So cute. That one? Owls. That one. <laughs> I don't know which one. Got the, that's, that's the owl bear right there. He is so cute. Yeah. He looks like a vulture with a uh, bear friend. Oh, they, yeah, Gail, that looks like the guy that uh, you're going to marry someday. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, thanks for having faith in me. Oh, yep. <laughs> and then this is a rust monster. Do you know what that is? Uh -uh. They eat your swords. Yeah, they eat everything metal, so all your swords and everything like that. They're very fun. Ooh. Yeah. It's good to... Have wooden swords. How's that for a cover? That's a nice cover. Uh, like it's that. Uh, not very colorful, but it's good. It's really pretty. It's got a great um, drawing illustration to it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think like all the covers on here are really good. Do you need to sit, Abigail? Do you want to sit on my lap or something? No, it's just my leg. Something bit my leg, and I tried to get it off. Okay. Um, Always. This nice. is like treasures for. Just straight BX, right? So, oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Look at that. Uh -huh. So this is, Treasures is like a whole section of the game, right? Yeah. What? What's going on there? <laughs> She's trying to drink a potion in time to not get killed. Or he's like, that's my, that's my orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you don't understand. They need to drink the magic Pepsi so that they can <laughs> fight the Belphegors. <laughs> That's a good picture. That is uh, Ghost Adventures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Zach B. No, it's Ghostbusters. I never believed in ghosts until I came face to face with them. Are you gonna call Ghostbusters? Little did you know, Zach really meant he got into a fist fight with a ghost. <laughs> Cool, so that is that. So I don't know if they pack it in any particular order, but that's the order it came in. And I'll just set that back in. And I mean, might get some function out of these box sets. I kind of got them just because I wanted them, basically. <laughs> we all like, get things just because we want them. I know, but... Um, Maybe it. All right. So here we've opened the Advanced Fantasy Box set with the Peter Mullen cover. So I'm going to flip that over. Again, we've got the product catalog. Is it it's the same? Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is because they, they don't know. But different. If you're buying. Because, you know, which because one? You, you, you can see there's a knight and a bard in this cover, so it's different. No, no, no. Yeah, she was talking about the product catalog. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Um, no, I'm sure he would buy two of the same sets of books. Same but different. Same but different. You see, you can be, you can play music. So that's that knight. So that knight looks really cool. Oh, he does. That knight looks like his a color character. scheme. Bards are silly. Bards are silly when you allow them to be silly, and when they're silly, they work. And best. what's that? The tall. That's thing? why they're bards. The that's, tall thing. That's in the blue cape. Oh, there. That's probably a mage. Uh, yeah. Very tall. I. It's just. I think it. Yeah, I think they're just trying to show like a collage or something like that. I don't know. Oh, what's in the back? Uh, Dragons. Dragon. Uh, I think those are worms. Worms. 
Yeah, or, that was or, my first thought. Or wyvern. Or wyvern, yeah. Because they got the... They look like wyverns, actually. Um, all right. So this this is going to be the... Um, this is where you get the more characters the that... more on crack character classes. <laughs> yeah, these are character classes that see you get quite a bit more character classes. Because we've all wanted to be a drow with mommy issues. <laughs> and also all of us. In advanced, you can separate race and class, which is what you would do to go, you know, what you would use these character race sections for. Well, that's a cool um, ranger. A ranger is one of the classes you can have. Ranger is a really great class in this book. Not in 5th edition, though. I don't know how they messed it up. Hmm. Like, in it's this book, bad, ranger is, like, the one of the best classes in my in my personal readings. I like them because I like Katniss Everdeen. I like rangers yeah, because I'm awesome. um, uh, Arrow. Hero. My name is Oliver Queen. <laughs> yeah, well, you want someone that can do specialize in long distance like okay. that. Because long distance is important when you're fighting things that can kill you with a single hit. And also, they have great wilderness skills. <laughs> like our total party kill, Josh. Remember that? Almost. Uh, I guess so. You survived with, like, two hit points. So a, I survived because um, I ran away. A, <laughs> a Durgar is, is like a dark... Dwarf. Right. It's like dwarves with black. It's like a drow is a dark elf. <laughs> that was not funny. It's, yeah, really. <laughs> um, uh, a, a, Sorry, a, a dwarf drow, is pale white. A, a drow is like a. Um, it's like a dark elf, and a durgar is a dark dwarf, and then there's even um, a surf neblin, which is a dark gnome. Basically so, a golem. Like the dude from Lord of the Rings? Yeah, that two golem is. You can be a half oh, elf. Holy me. That's a, I, I don't like this picture of half orc. That's too It's a little, orc. Well, it's a little too... A little too much orc, not enough half. too much, yeah. Uh, you can be an illusionist. This is a class that you can have in advanced, so there you go. You can be a knight, although there's no picture of a knight, unfortunately. You can be, you can be a paladin, paladin, although there's no picture. Um, you here's your ranger class. Ranger, rangers, they, you can try. Show some footprints. I guess that's, you know, would have been a good spot to put the actual ranger, ranger in. Um, Gollum. Here's your surf neblin. Basically just skull. Yeah, they're kind of... <clears throat> Yes. Hairless and gray, <laughs> like bad guy gnomes, basically. Your optional so, race, character race, optional rule. Yes, yeah, so if you want race and class separate, you can do that. And Bilbo Baggins. What? From Hobbit, Abby. George, I haven't watched that movie for like 10 years. So here's some advanced rules, which, okay, that's interesting. So one cool thing about the uh, the, the way these books are split out is you can um, well there's a there's a female um, ranger right there. Her you, bow is cool. Yeah. What's that? I don't know what that is. That's just a tree. That's just a tree, Abby. It, it looks like a cat. Okay. Well, well, there's like a I think that's a mountain and that's a cave entrance. Oh, right there. see, I told you it was not a tree. Actually, I didn't say that, but I meant it. You but, thought um, it was a cat. <laughs> anyway, no, it's just a little bit. The way that it's split out between basic and advanced, you can really see like which part is the basic part and which part is the advanced. I didn't know Ghost Rider was in BX. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ghost Rider. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Josh, you're getting the Ghostbusters theme songs in my head. No, I mean Ghost Rider. I Nicholas know, but Cage. like with the first thing you said about ghosts. All right, here's the magic for um, advanced fantasy. So this is a spell for a druid, right? Like the vines. Is that what Katie looks like? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully prettier than that. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, the dude you said who's I was going to marry is actually going to marry her. So this is kind of, that's kind of, that's a cool picture right there. Ooh, fire. Yeah. So sometimes we have a needs a pristine human skull. Illusionist, druid. Sometimes. Just don't ask why. Don't ask why. 
And is that it? Illusionist and Druid? I think there's a bit more. There's like a tiny baby right there. I think it's just Illusionist and Druid spells. No, I just oh, sorry, babe. Yeah, Druid spells, Illusionist spells, that's it. Okay. Oh. Look at him. I guess when Druid and Illusionist, mm -hmm. you already have the magic for one class and the class that you wouldn't really need. Well, I just didn't realize that there was only two two other basic uh, spellcasters. Yeah, and exactly. So this is... Um, that's a dragon. This what? is a really cool picture, isn't it? My hand it? is too shaky for this. It's a dragon in space. Yeah, I the space thing is odd, but like other than that, like I just love this cowled wizard, you know. Oh, that and looks And the like dragon. Wizard. And we have a dragon like that. And then this guy sneaking up from behind. It gives me a bit of like fantasy mixed with sci-fi. It kind of does. It's but a... they're basically the same thing except future and in the past. So. Oh, uh oh. That guy's gonna get a wake up that he doesn't want to have. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is, this is like the advanced thing. Oh, that's a cool picture. Wowzers. I think they're scared. That's a great picture. So, yeah, so this is, uh, oh, wow. That thing, she looks great. Medusa. No, it's not her form, it's different. All right. These can suck magic out of your magic, uh, Items. How fun. So, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like coming up against a rust monster. It's like, uh oh. <laughs> Not the kind of monster that you want to. Yeah, I think I'll skip today. Thanks. Oh, yes. Offer was really nice. Forg. Oh, he's it's so It's called cute. a gully gug, but. Um, Frogs are so cute. The frogman. It's called a gully gug in OSC, but in actual DD, &D it had a different name. I can't remember right now what it was, but. Clancy, but girl version. Oh my gosh, that is Clancy. Yes, guarding the door, always staring at us. <laughs> He's a cat, goes mad. So yeah, so this is all. So all of these, um, all of these. Uh, uh, the greatest monsters. enemy of all, furries. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the monsters in in this book would be from advanced D and D. Another, another furry. Dinosaur. Yeah, I. Dinosaur. I thought they went extinct. Terrasks. I had to think terrasks are silly. I would never have that in my game. It's like the ultimate monster. What's that? It looks kind of stupid. It's a hairball. Um, um, this is an ot yug. It's a, or sorry, no, a zorn, a zorn. Um, although it's kind of similar to an ot yug. Uh, so it's just a dad guy monster. So, no, that's great. I love that. And then here's the treasure's book. What do you think about that cover? Magical. Ooh. Very uh, Colorful. energetic. Mm -hmm. The crown. Oh my, look at that. It's that... coming at you. The uh, deck of many things. Is yeah, the deck of many things. That was made by an autistic palette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's in here. The deck of many things. And, um, oh, that looks cool. Wow, that's a great picture. Um, and so this is this would be your AD and D. Um, the deck of many treasure things. and the deck of many, many things, things is honestly just such a fun concept. Yeah. Like if you just pulled it out, you just had a deck of cards and you just kept spamming it. Just spamming it? You can't spam it. Yes. How do you spam cards? I mean, when it you would be so fun. Start talking about oh, this is look at this frogman worshiping this lady or something like that. But she um, don't got no hair, they can do so much better. They just gotta <laughs> go to the gym and get on their Sigma Mill grinds. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, crap, I think I lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, deck of many things. Like, once you like assign like an origin story to something that was previously mysterious, it's never gonna like... It's never going to be cool. Yeah, it's never going to be like, oh, awesome. You know, like, a, at least the whole autistic paladin thing, that was just really dumb. Really, really dumb. The deck of many things. You are so dumb. You are really, really dumb. The deck of many things is really just an object that just kind of needs to exist with no explanation. Because that makes it just funner. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite genie from Aladdin. 
Look at the flying dwarf. <laughs> well, he's too tall for the door. <laughs> <laughs> he's making a magic door. That'd be cool. Cool power to have. You could get out of school pretty easy <laughs> that way, huh? Or then there's that's kind of a similar power, I guess. That was always my dream when I was a kid. I'd be like, I'm gonna escape from school by using a portal. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if I want any power, I want a portal so I don't have to go to class. Fear of Annihilation. I wonder what that does. Oh, yeah. I wonder. That's a great picture of Sphere of Annihilation, too. Just, yeah, it's just annihilating. Let's see, isn't this Congratulations, one? you lost existence privileges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Rod, staves, and wands. So, yeah, no, just really... Well, here's your section for swords. So, Senshi and swords. I guess that's all AD and D. I didn't realize that. Um, my fans, there's your OGL. And, and, and then not um, a lot of tables needed on this. Cool one, picture. So. Yeah, that's a cool picture. So there we are. What did you guys think? That was really cool. Fun and enjoyable. Yeah. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> Like uh, three people that were there. Yeah, well, we should play while, during, while we're off for Christmas holidays. Yeah. Yes. Anyone want to take the camera for me? No, nope, we're all done. Before I give people where to go for my shakiness. Please.